boys. Y ella es gonna drop caputo and he looks absolutely insane. I actually love him. I like him. Let me tell you whether you should complete him or not. Let me build your team around them and maybe let's also talk about other future stars cards because why not? Let's start with it. If you are a Division 1 player, Division 2 player, should you complete Caputo? Hell nah, mate. You will be wasting your time if you did so. Why? He has three skills. Most of all that are sweaty. We like to do fake shot stops and then croquetas. Or we like to, you know, we just like to use four skills overall. Now, with three, with that height, he will not be the most responsive player in the world. But for you, the average player who is CB Division 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is going to be an absolutely insane card. This is a card you can apply Hawk on. If you don't mind the loose on responsiveness, he's, he has a lean body type. So he actually shouldn't be that bad on the ball, even with these dribbling stats. You bring, oh, well, yeah, no, actually, put engine on him. Um, but if you boost that strength, you can literally have like a cheap Mbappe. If you put, if, you, if he gets to the point where you can apply Marksman on him, you will literally have like a cheap, a cheap man's Mbappe. And literally, I'm going to show you why. I haven't even done this comparison yet. But when I looked at this card, it looks like the carbon copy of a player that could be like Mbappe. Look, the passing is similar. The shooting is similar. Like the stats, how the way they're distributed is similar. A player who is decent on the ball, who can shoot like crazy, who has good physical, not that great passing and sick pace. Honestly, you look at one side to the other and that, that's something that could deceive you. Of course, he's not going to be Mbappe. He ain't got five skills. He ain't got very dribbling. But if he becomes 89 and they push that pace up to 92, 93, it's going to be a beautiful card to bring as a super sub. Cool. I hope that I already made you believe and think about why this card is decent or not. You can apply engine. I think I will apply engine on even with the upgrade because you have like 88 shopper, which I actually think is that's decent enough. Okay, cool. Crunch. I want to know about the other cards. Actually, Seria has other. This guy could even be a good winger because in Seria, if I were you, honestly, if I were you guys, the player that I will be getting if you're in Division One, Division Two, the striker I will be getting is Kitarian. Kitarian, 100%. That link with uh, Bruno Perez on the right side is sick, but. I tried this Mertens, it wasn't that good. I didn't like uh, the low composure. Caputo doesn't have low composure, which is which is great. So you'll be feel better on the ball. So for the the other options that you have on the league, I feel like he's just he's just a beautiful player. Now, um, I wanted to also help you with the other cars that are in this promo. So let's have a little look on at them. I think this Mullen, when he gets the upgrade, beautiful. Right now, I think that's a little bit pricey. Same goes for Kante. This Rafinha looks like an actual decent SBC. I personally will use um, Mane off cam on the other wing. I think this is a little bit overpriced, but if he gets the upgrade, I think this is going to be definitely a usable card. It's just three star week for a my thing. Sancho, again, five skills for 1.5 milli for a three star weak footer. He has, he still has three star, yeah. He's not, he, this is not a chief. Same goes for Odegaard. 600k for a 3 star week for any chief but again if you are below division 4 3 4 6, 5 6 whatever bro this card's gonna be fine this Mbappe is the player that is division 1 approved 100% this guy is cracked you put an anchor on you have one of the best right backs in the game period this le leaves whatever this is another beautiful piece you put a shadow on you have the type of player that's perfect right next to Renato Sanchez because he's tall, he's bad on the ball. So you put Renato Sanchez right next to him. You have a player that can move forward and drive the ball. This Gomez, again, another one. It makes no sense to me why anyone would pay one million for this guy, especially with those dribbling, like the dribbling is sick, the, the height is sick. It's just he has a 4-4, which is bang average for 1.3 milli. Bro, you're better off using Neymar again, 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 and again. If you just want to have fun, bro, just have fun, bro. Just, I just want to bring my objective, my objective view on this. This Jovic is an absolute machine. I think this, when he got released, it was 210k, and I think that was great. Now he's a little bit higher, but this height... He got a weak foot over, he was skill moves upgrade. His team, I think, is banging a lot of goals. You put a hunter on him. Hopefully, in the future, you can apply an engine on him when he gets the extra upgrade. So he has more dribbling. He should be having like 92 shot power and like 93 finishing. So yeah. I think this is going to be another absolutely beast striker. This Berchiche is my goat. I actually bought him for 150k. I saw him on 150 and I was like, bang! Buy that. 
because this is such a good car you put a shadow on his guy is cracked even the comments you're gonna see four currency screaming without the s bro this is my guy my guy i'm gonna be bringing a lot of reviews again him he's beautiful this marcelo is one that i'm a little bit hesitant on i don't know what the upgrade is gonna be if he gets the 90 if he becomes 80 pace nice lovely strong great physical with these stats for 150 it's a push again if you're below division 3 beautiful card but look at that he got a 22 plus pace upgrade bro that's mad 20 plus pace upgrade sorry and i think this is actually my favorite card in the whole promo man you got this beautiful beast you apply an engine on him and wow uh, everyone is gonna say ah, yeah, i apply engine on everyone well what what do i do all of them have dead balance bro what do you want me to do you know what i'm saying but yeah i love this guy with a hawk on i love this guy with an engine on i love this guy with an anchor on these you are basically looking at the best sentiment in the league you're looking at the best sentiment in this league i know he's a little bit so lean body type decent work rates this is the best sentiment in this league period i don't care there is not a single one you're gonna show me that's gonna be better and if there is let me know in the comments now Let's get into the squad builder. Actually, let's put Pereira. Oh, I'm so smart, bro. Let's put Pereira into it. Let's put Pereira. Yeah, let's get right into it, lad. Let's put Pereira into it. I don't know how bad Udinese are playing, but like, I think a team with Pereira and Caputo on it is going to be sick. This guy in game plays sentiment. If you want him, you can play him left mid dead, like straight up and then get a left winger. Because I know this league has some decent left wingers. This Insigne. If you complete a Sharawi, beautiful stuff for this league. If you did not complete Charawi, then maybe just put Pereira there. So that you can then get Kitarian in. I think Kita this card, this Kitarian card is an absolute beast of a striker. If you play a two-striker formation, these two together will be dope. If not, you can play him striker or Cam. Cam is also a great position for him. He feels decent on the ball. And his passing was really nice. So I think with Hunter, you put him as a Cam. Nice, beautiful, lovely. Um and then this guy is a striker you could do that or him on the wing and then him on the striker the low the low defensive work rates are going to be an L though especially for attack i think again this um this i don't like this lozano that much i used them the three star uh, weak foot is an L. but again for those of you that don't mind it bro be my guest bro i have to change the way i talk about these cards it makes it look as if all i care about is meta and the truth is not it's not i want you guys to have fun and i want you guys to enjoy the game so i'm gonna be changing my view well not changing my views changing the way i deliver the content to you guys so that it can match how i actually feel i think this lozano is a great card Division 1 and Division 2, not the best. Below that, he's going to get the job done 100%, bro. You have nothing to worry about. If you completed Tonali, you are a go. If you completed Savage, that's a great card as well. But personally, personally, I think someone like Tejo or Duncan in that position would be sick. This Rodrigo de Paul, this perfect link with Rodrigo de Paul is a slept on absolutely slept on this guy has 4-4 i think it is he had, oh no sorry 4-3 these sick defending stats this could be because he's right footed and then Pereira. please tell me Pereira is left footed that would be insane that would be insane uh he is right footed. oh well i was gonna say these two together they could be in a four in a in a five defensive formation he could be your right wing back and then he would be your left wing back low defensive work rates are nail though but why not let's keep him there keep him there just keep him there you have two you're two sentiment how but you're gonna tell me eh, can I try that? Eh, but that doesn't have enough defending i don't have a guy with like 98 defending to defend crunch what do i do well okay man you know what get barella and then i really liked him when i tried him i love barella to be he has high defensive work which you see you put shadow on great defending what you need in there that's your cdm uh, i actually tried barella i'm telling you before I, I was just talking about barella and i had never tried him but i'm telling you right now he's cracked uh that lot is sick now do you have a right back lad do these people have a right back that's sick i think they don't well this guy is a little bit pricey 160k Let, let's see if we can get away with putting a uh, florenzi in there let's see if we can get away with doing a hybrid with florenzi well actually ulti w florenzi should be at 10 times cheaper 100 26k there you have it so this guy here and then the other center back hopefully oh bastoni for 200k why not why not I know you guys wouldn't mind. And then Donnarumma, I've used him. I liked him. If it's not Bastoni, you can do Bastoni just for the link. But if it's not Bastoni, you can 100% know Teo is French. The oh, this Crichito, bro. Oh, this Crichito, 77 pace. And you put him right next to Romero, lad. Bro, I swear, I think this, this partnership for most of you that are watching right now is not gonna be bad at all. This guy has a left. I would personally play him center back if I could, and I'll play um 
and I'll play Teo Hernandez in the left back position because I think Teo Hernandez is a sick left back. But if not, is there another left back that we can get on for for the laughter? Nah, bro. It has it has got to be Teo. It has got to be Teo. You can do Teo, the law, get the better version of Teo in the future. This Crichito here, then the law left back in game. I love the law when I play them. I know people that I didn't like it, bro. He's sick. Actually, what if he wasn't there? And we go a is there no was he is Portuguese? What about is there no way to put Teles in there? It's just that the this tail doesn't look that good to me, man. The defending is not there, the the, the dribbling is not there. He's gonna be an absolute he's gonna need an absolute uh, refrigerator in the left back side, man. I wish I wish we could do someone else like an icon or something, lad. Why why did I even put him? You're not even you're not, not even Portuguese, lad. Oh F it. put that guy. What if, what if you play him center back then and him actually as a left back? Or is there another left back? Another... Uh, or a right back that can play left back? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this little, little inconvenience that just happened here. It's just that I wish... Melio Rui is decent, but again, not my sort of gravy. Center backs, we have Smoldini, we have Bastoni. Why not, bro? Let's just... Let's do Bastoni, bro. I know you guys want mine. Let's do Bastoni. If you guys have the coins, I think this is not a bad card. This link, these two link here, you can do that. And now that you have a really good at defending player, you put Teo in there then. Now he doesn't mind. Even if he has low awareness or whatever, this is a good card. Oh, yeah, this is a good card there. And then we have the two CDMs, most defensive one, most attacking one. Winger, striker, striker, and then we just need another player who can play up front. And that will be... Uh, this is always hard, because for those of you that did not complete Daivala, it's going to be like, ah, oh, well, you basically don't have that many options, because, well, you can do Mertens, but he's really overpriced, because I have him, I can tell you that for sure. Uh, this Daivala will have been the perfect. You can do Bolingoli if, you're, if, you, if you love to watch money. Um... What about Cam CDM? Is there any Cam that can... Oh, yeah, definitely. Just get Gomez, bro. Just get Papu Gomez. Yeah, Papu Gomez. Yeah, Papu Gomez is... Is the way... That Papu Gomez is the wave right there, lad. Just get Papu Gomez, my guy. He's like 90k. Great car on the wing. He, this is the team. 800k. Beautiful stuff. Um, can you link it with other players? Well, if you had... If you if you had El Charawi, it would be perfect. You put Charawi there as a left mid and you play this guy here you play Charawi left winger here and you change to 433 the regular one where he will be off cam so yeah i think that's good we built you i built your team around it i showed you the better things i reviewed the full on thingy if you want me to do teams around other leagues the thing i think is a little bit hard because well the link that we have to use would be this one and then maybe if I wanted to build you a hybrid with this guy, yeah, it wouldn't be that easy. The main reason being that, say I did it, this guy's 180k, you have this, you have the link here, you have this Pereira that I told you about that I think is beautiful, and then what do we do here? That's, you know what I'm saying? That's my issue with it. As always, we have the Varand, all that sort. You can do whatever you want in this. If you get like a, a an Argentinian player in this position and then these two are having off camp. So yeah, love you. I hope that you enjoyed. Love you all. See you all. Goodbye.